Moon of the Ice, where we have a huge couple matchups there as well. Just over a month from the postseason for the boys, and first place is definitely up for grabs in the West. Minot, one point ahead of Legacy for the top spot in the WDA. Sabres can take the spot with a win. Plenty of opportunities both way. Opening minute, Finley Bed centers and Easton Panasuk. One timer saved by Tyler Miller. Not long after a couple tries by the Sabres. First one tonight, but Carter Johnson scores on the redirect, and it's 1 0 Legacy. Sabres with the huge road win, 4 1, the final. Now to the girls' side. Legacy Bismarck, red hot, facing Mandan. Follow number 16 on this place. McKenzie Yancer misses a wide open net, but just a few seconds later, the puck finds her again in front and converts 1 0 Mandan and a minute in. A minute later, seems like a whole hum play by the net. Kenley Edlin trying to put it in front, but the puck disappears, and it's because it deflected off the backside of the keeper skating in to make it 2-0. Manin with a big win across the river, 6-1 the score. Finally, Century at home, hosting Dickinson in an annual stick of the cancer game. Both teams playing proud and bank. It's the Patriots that light the lamp just three minutes into this one, take an early lead. But check this out. Rena Curl in trouble at the top, just throws a backhand shot out there, and it finds the net. Century going to end up winning this one in OT, 3-2. Dickens and boys go on to win in a shootout over Jamestown, 4-3. Bismarck boys with a big win at Mandan, 3-1. And look at that wild score. Botno Rugby defeats Hazen Beulah, 9-6.